85 time. Cyclocars world, champion aged, 85, passes away. Cycling has lost one of its cyclocars pioneers with Renato Longo. Longo dominated the cross in the late 1950s and early 1960s, as an opponent of first Rolf Wolfschall and later Eric de Vlaminck. Renato Longo was barely 20 years old when he already won silver at the Italian Cyclocross Championship in 1958. A year later he already won his first of five world titles. In those early years, Longo fought fierce duels with the German Rolf Wolfschall, but when he started to focus more on the road, Wolfschall won the Vuelta, among other things, the way was open for Longo to dominate cyclocross internationally. That dominance continued until seven-time champion Eric de Vlaminck made his appearance on the stage. Longo remained a measure of all things in his own country, but he no longer played a leading role in the top crosses, except for a bronze medal at the 1969 World Cup. On the road, Longo mainly rode for the Sovereigny team of his illustrious compatriot Felice Gimondi, but he had two professional road victories. Longo was inducted into the UCI Hall of Fame in 2002 for his services to cyclocross. Renato Longo was André Dufresne's successor, taking his first of five titles in 1959 and the last in 1967 with two silver medals in between times and a final bronze in 69. Long-limbed but fragile he was renowned for his technical skills, he was 12 times Italian champion and won 230 crosses during his career. Thanks legends and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.